Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today me and Paul are up in the Lake District and um, as you can see I'm very wet and uh, it's a grey and miserable day but we are uh, braving the elements and getting out and seeing what we can capture and uh, it's proving quite a challenge actually doing landscape photography in the rain is quite difficult um, it's not something I really do to be honest uh, but I like the challenge and um, yeah we've come down to Rydal Water and if you've been following me for the last year or so you'd have probably remember me shooting a vlog from this very spot. Uh, I come away with a couple of images but I wasn't really that happy with them. The colours weren't that great at the time, it was just pre-autumn but unfortunately today it's grey, it's murky, it's raining, it's a bit miserable but we've got beautiful autumn colour. It is proving difficult in the rain, we're both very wet but it is absolutely stunning at the same time. So I'm just gonna take a couple of shots of this boathouse that is over on the other side of the lake and uh, I'll talk you through my settings in a minute once I've got a competition that I'm happy with. But yeah, it's nice to be back up in the Lake District. I have missed it, even though it's raining. Okay, so composition set up, and um, yeah, it is very, very difficult in this in this rain. I am absolutely soaking right now, um, but it's a challenge, and I like a challenge. So, boathouse set up on the bottom right-hand third of the image, and we've got the beautiful fall-coloured trees behind, oranges and yellows and greens, and that beautiful uh, bracken that's up there. It looks like a deep red. I know it is raining right now, so it is. It's almost like there's some sort of like mist in the air, some sort of low cloud. Um, I think that's just from the rain itself. But um, exposure settings are currently two and a half seconds, F16, um, ISO 50 with a case polarizer on. And uh, the polarizer is just cutting through the water, allowing you to, uh, to see the reflection of the boathouse and the trees mirrored uh, a bit more clearly. And, um, it's playing really, really nice with the polarizer today. So two second timers, as always. Try and keep the front of your lens as clean as you can. I've got a cloth on top here now, just sheltering the top of the, uh, of the holder. Two second timers, sit back and uh, let the magic happen. It is absolutely beautiful, even though it is raining, the Lake District is so, so beautiful. There's just compositions to be had absolutely everywhere. We're gonna walk up into the woodlands in a minute and a bit further around the lake and see if there's anything else to be had. But absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so it's very hard with weather like this to feel at all inspired um, to capture images because you're just thinking about yourself and how wet you are. But um, it is a challenge and um, I do like a challenge. Uh, the rain has picked up. I'm very, very wet right now. Uh, it's kind of taking shelter under a tree, although I think I'm getting more wet under the tree than I am out in the open. Um, but what did catch my eye walking around is you can see the camera pointing straight down. Um, was the leaves that are kind of situated on the side of the lake uh, and they kind of just all huddle around a nice little area right close to the uh, to the shoreline and it kind of just caught my eye because it's so vibrant against the dark background um, it's kind of an arty farty sort of shot not my usual sort of shot but um, a shot I'm gonna get nonetheless um, so settings for this one it's around about let's have a look f6.3 uh, ISO 1000 because it's so dark although it is deceivingly bright and um, shutter speed at 1 over 100 so nice and fast to try and freeze um, 
the leaves but because it's raining the water is moving and you're getting ripples and the leaves are constantly moving so trying to freeze that um, is proving a challenge so that's why I've had to crank my ISO up uh, as high as it is but I'm not really worried about it because this thing's fine with high ISOs. Uh, a touch of polarization to bring the blacks through and make the colours of the uh, orange leaves pop a little bit more and uh, yeah that's it two second timers as always and it is quite amazing what catches your eye when you're walking around trying to you know find images or find subjects that um, that work for you and right now this kind of stood out uh, to me to my eye so it's um, yeah a little bit different but it's nice nonetheless it makes a nice image so two second timers grab the shot I think we're gonna head back to the truck because it is picking up but we'll see So a decent image, I prefer the first image, it's kind of that iconic shot that I've um, been wanting to get properly for a while, um, although I did get it last year, it is nice to revisit these amazing locations. Uh, so I'm going to pack up now, head back to the truck, get some food, make some coffee, because it's cold, I'm soaking wet, um, camera is soaking and it's been wet now, solidly wet for about an hour and a half I guess, so it's nice to test out the Lumix S1Rs. Um, water resistant capabilities and so far it's absolutely spot on it's soaking wet right now absolutely drenched uh, just like me and um, it's working absolutely fine and if any of you eagle-eyed viewers out there uh, know the case products you'll probably recognize that this is a slightly different holder because case have bought out the new k9 holder so I'll save that for the next one and try and do a little bit of a, a vlog on that one if this weather lifts <laughs> and uh, I can get somewhere where I can get it all out but um, good product weather seated on the camera spot on I'm getting back in the truck because I'm soaked so thanks for watching uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please do consider clicking subscribe below give us a like tell us what you think down in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one